this is my 98 um, ZX6R. Um, I know about a video on um, how to uh, balance, synchronise the carb res. Um, I'm going to be using the Carb Tune Pro um, synchronising kit and um, hopefully the uh, video will um, help a few of you out there who may be struggling to do their own uh, balance on the carb res. Right, this is the Carb, carb Tune Pro kit and basically you've got your it's a four carburetor version we do do a two carburetor version um, to save any issues I've numbered my my pipes up and I've also numbered up which pipes go where one of the most common problems people have you won't believe this is that they get the wrong pipes on the wrong carburetors so I've made this virtually foolproof so number three goes on number three four goes on number four and so forth really so number one With the kit, you get these. Um, you get a piece of um, a restrictor pipe. Basically, that is to um, smooth out the um, the vacuum on the carburetor, so that the uh, indicators run smoothly. Right, this is my homemade stand I made, um, basically it's to hold the carb tune on and um, I've also got an auxiliary fill tank which is uh, about 350-400mm. Right, I don't want to go into too much um, depth in how to pull the bike apart because hopefully you'll know what you're doing there. But you need to take the seats off, get these two bolts to get the fill tank off. You need to re release the bolts on the fill tap to get that hose off and you'll also need to under them two bolts there, I'll hold the fill tank on. Also, there's some clips as well, what are clipped into the fill tank as well. Right, as you can see, with the tank and the seat removed, you're now left with the air box. That has to be removed because there's no way of getting to the um, vacuum pipes that you need to connect your carb tune to. So, that also needs to be removed. What I've actually found is if you remove um, this bit here it makes it easier anyway because um, you need this pipe that's got a good one of your balances anyway and also if you have this which is only just clipped in if you take that bit out of the way it makes it a little bit easier another item which I um, found was easier to remove was if you just pull that out of the way These are the other two pipes that you need to get at. So now you've got one there, one there, one there, and the last one has got a little bung in it. That isn't connected to anything, so that's your number four one. Right, these here are another set of carburetors I've got, and what I want to just show you is the screws that you will be adjusting are in there in there and in there so to balance carburetor one and two you use that one then you'll balance carburetor three and four which is that one and then to balance one two and three four together you use the middle one now as you can see when they're on the bike the carbs are like that so uh, they're quite awkward to you can be quite awkward to get out you, sort of, you can just you can, you can see them anyway i'll show you on the bike right this is the carbs on the bike and like i said one and two is in there three and four through there and then just behind the fill line is how you balance the two pairs up and that's what i'm going to try and do um before i strip the bike down I have had it running and warmed it up. It does pay you 
to have it warmed up and um, makes it easier to do. Okay, so here we go. As you can see that um, basically they were all virtually even and um, by adjusting the first screw I could even them two up and then by adjusting the screw on the last bank I evened them two up and then by adjusting the middle screw I evened the two pairs up and that's basically the way you synchronize carburetors really I mean they're all bouncing about just about in the right place there I mean I've done it several times and it is you're never going to get them absolutely so they just sit dead level that's that is pretty good from what I've done in the past and I'm happy with that so uh, yeah let's um, put the bike back together right this is just a small recap 
when I was um, videoing the um, actual carb tune, whether you noticed or not, but I was actually in here with a screwdriver adjusting carb one and two with this screw. I then adjusted carburetors three and four over this side, and then I went in between where the, the two banks of carbs and the two pairs. And I went in there and I adjusted one and two two, two and three, to three and four. So basically, and what you can do is you can go back and do a tweak a little bit on that one, tweak a little bit on that one, and then tweak them back again. If you're not happy, have another go at it. You know, it's all fine tune. Right, um, when I was doing the uh, carb uh, balancing, uh, uh, at one point you may have noticed that the revs was dropping a bit. So what I did was I actually just tweaked up the old tick over a little bit just to keep the revs up a bit because obviously while you're just fiddling with the balance and often sometimes the revs can drop a bit so that's just a little tip that is that, um, if you feel like the, the engine speed's getting too low and it might die just tweak up the tick over a bit, it ain't going to do no harm and uh, you can then bring the tick over back down again once you balance the carbs and get the tick over to a, to a point where you, you're happy with yeah, that was just a small point that was. Alright, and uh, this is the end of the video, and um, and thanks for watching.